Hey guys, welcome back. In this lecture, let's see uh, setting up Kubernetes cluster using Kube ADM. For the purpose of this demonstration, uh, I created a GitHub documentation. I'll put this link in the video description. Okay, please go through that. So follow this step by step and uh, you should be able to uh, have Kubernetes cluster ready. So number one, uh, I want to take three Linux servers. I have launched three Linux servers in Amazon Web Services. So it could be three or it could be N. So one node is for master and other two nodes are workers. So I have master and couple of workers. Instance type choose uh, T2 medium or any bigger one because uh, uh, Kubernetes cluster expects more CPU and memory for uh, working properly. So at least T2 medium is good choice to set up this uh, example. Then uh, this one step number two, uh, all these instructions I am representing under step number two. We need to install on all three nodes. So we need to have a Docker runtime. So I'm installing Docker on all three. Keep that in mind. Plus I'm adding user to Docker group. I mean the current user to Docker group so that uh, we don't have to use a sudo command uh, when we use Docker commands. But anyways, let's get started by executing these commands one by one on every machine. I have opened three terminals. This one is master, worker one and worker two. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, run these commands on all three nodes. So, right. So, this last command is still not executed. So, click on that to complete. Right. The next step is to run these two commands. Uh, this is to add the current user to Docker group uh, so that. Uh, uh, we can, I mean, the current user can directly run Docker commands uh, instead of using sudo every time. Okay. All right. And next step is to disable uh, swap memory. Uh, we should disable this because uh, Kubernetes wants this to be disabled. So repeat the execution of that command on uh, every node. Okay. So if you want this to be in uh, uh, disable mode even after uh, our nodes get rebooted or restarted run this command okay so let's run this command on every node and uh, we need to uh, set this SELNX in uh, a permissive mode So let me copy both the commands. Okay. Right. 
let's go ahead and install a cube ADM a cube CTL and a cube cubelet uh, there's a spelling mistake I will correct that after uh, completing this demonstration so you have to copy this text this is to configure uh, Kubernetes repository on our uh, nodes so that we can pull and install uh, cube cube ADM cube CTL and kubelet right right now yes Yeah, let's go and pick the next command. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So all set now. Um, we need to run uh, cube adm init command this is to initialize the cluster run this on master so let's clear the screen run it this could take a few seconds let's wait the process is done so grab this command okay and uh, keep it somewhere handy so that we have other things to set up on this master node so that once done uh, we can take this command execute on other two nodes which will join these two nodes will join the master and that creates our kubernetes cluster okay so i have taken that command and stored in my notepad okay so i am creating a dot cube folder in my uh, user uh, home directory and in next command i am copying admin.conf under my dot cube so that uh, my user will have permissions to talk to kubernetes uh, cluster and I'm changing the ownership of this file to my current user so run this only on master right and the last step is uh, so we need to uh, add a pod network to the cluster so take this command and execute perfect so all good now pick up this cube admin command I mean cube admin join command run them on uh, worker nodes So run this with sudo and try the same so this guy successfully joined the cluster perfect this guy also successfully joined the cluster now uh, these three nodes has become a cluster of kubernetes now so go on to master kubectl get nodes right see it's giving me three nodes all are ready and one is control plane a master i mean master is also called control plane here and other two nodes they are just worker nodes 
So this is how we set up Kubernetes cluster using Kube ADM. Okay. So in future, let's say you want to join more nodes to this cluster. You can spin up uh, new nodes and execute this Kube ADM init command on the node. So it automatically joins the cluster. So before closing this session, so I want to uh, run a pod on this and uh, show you the output of that pod. From same GitHub repository, go back to Kubernetes, uh, go to pods folder, take this command. I have pod.yaml, this is my pod.yaml. So using that, let's create a pod. So now kubectl get pods. Yes, it's it's in container creating state. Let's wait. Once it's ready, uh, I'll show the response by hitting this pod. right so it's in running state and a pod got an ip let's use curl command http uh, ip of the pod it's listening on 8080 right see we are getting a response from that pod so that's all from this video guys thanks for watching